Hello everyone, my name is Corey Kern and I would love to share with you some of the physiological effects that Katsu has in your body. With Katsu, I truly believe that you can break that sub two hour mark. Now Katsu isn't necessarily a device, it's more of a method that was created by Dr. Sato in Japan. Now we can talk about the benefits and the physiological effects of Katsu for a very long time. We could have this discussion for days. And it's well established by literature that Katsu training will improve your muscle strength, your muscle endurance, your VO2 max, and it's great for our elderly patients because you only use light weight. Now let's get right to the point. With Katsu training, you don't need a gym, you don't need a bunch of equipment, you don't need dumbbells, you don't use different forms of resistance to control the intensity, you use pressure to control the intensity. And you use the pressure of the bands to help dial in how difficult or how intense the exercise is going to be. When we reach back into our physics education, think about the relationship between volume, pressure, and temperature. By using Katsu training, you can get an awesome workout in half the time. You can also recover. You can also stimulate motor unit recruitment. It's very similar to resistance training, but without the structural damage. When you first put the bands on, that's called the base pressure. By putting the bands on your arms or your legs, you're slowing that venous return down just slightly enough to where the mechanical receptors in your blood vessels since that drop in blood pressure, that's gonna trigger that vagus nerve and that's gonna put you into more of a parasympathetic state. It's gonna relax you, it's gonna calm you. When you turn it on and those bladders and the bands inflate, the pressure is gonna slow that venous return down even more, which is gonna trigger your body to go into a sympathetic state. Base pressure is parasympathetic, inflate is sympathetic. Now, as you do the Katsu cycle, it's going to inflate and deflate, and you are controlling that. Now, this is important because of the concept of heart rate variability. As we get older and we develop more health problems, the heart rate variability may narrow. We want a wide range of heart rate variability. What that means is we want parasympathetic and sympathetic. We wanna be able to control that. It's very difficult to control heart rate variability. Stress, life, working, poor sleep, our food, our environment, all those things play a role into keeping us into a sympathetic state. By using Katsu, you can externally control that parasympathetic, sympathetic activation by applying pressure. This is very important for overall fitness and health, especially as we age. Now, Katsu has an effect on you systemically and locally. When you put the bands on your arms and your legs, yes, anything past the bands, there's venous pooling in there, that partial pressure of oxygen drops. Now what that's doing is it's helping establish better capillary beds in your distal extremities. It's helping promote more circulation in and out of those far off reaches of those single cell layers of those little capillary beds way far away that don't get a whole lot of love. Now you're just metabolically exhausting your muscles so that they trigger response to ramp up more protein synthesis and try to stimulate more growth hormones dumped throughout your body. Now how does Katsu relate to altitude training? So think about this for one minute. When you go to altitude and you try to do endurance training, there's only so much you can do. That's part of the whole concept where you live high, train low, and you go back and forth. Now with Katsu, you're decreasing the partial pressure of oxygen in your distal capillary beds, and that's triggering somewhat of a similar response, but you're not going to altitude. Now there are different mechanisms in play here from altitude and from using Katsu. However, if you take someone who's been training at altitude and someone who is a world-class endurance athlete, and then you also implement Katsu training into their typical routine, how is that going to affect their muscular endurance? One of the best things about Katsu is that it is an adjunct to your typical training routine. Is Katsu a training tool? Is it a recovery tool? Is it a rehabilitation tool? Is it an everyday tool? And the answer is simply yes. I truly believe that Katsu is gonna change the way you see fitness, it's gonna change the way you exercise, and it's gonna change the way that we treat and train our professional and elite athletes.